Hi, I'm Natty and you are watching YouTube. Hey guys, so last night at about 3am I got a text saying that my Ancestry DNA results were ready and I'm excited. I am expecting it to be quite boring to be honest. <laughs> I'm expecting it to probably just be like Western Europe. Um, obviously I don't know like the percentages of whatever it says and all that. but. I'm not expecting anything like exotic. <laughs> like I wouldn't be surprised if there was some Scandinavian, but I don't think they'll. I would be surprised if there was any Asian, and I mean there there could be some African, but I I would be surprised if there was any African. But um, we'll see. Oh, I would be very surprised if there was any American, like Native American, I would be very surprised. But you never know. So, let's have a look at my results. Okay, so my screen's recording. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I can see like the basic thing. A few full results, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait, communities are groups of people who share fairly recent ancestors. I never knew this existed, wow, okay. Let's ignore that for now, okay, oh my god, oh my god. So as predicted, it is like all Western Europe. So I'm 59% England, Wales and Northern Western Europe. I, <laughs> I mean, I didn't know if I was to expect that high. Oh my god, I'm literally almost 100% like British Isles based. <laughs> um, wait, how much is that? 59 to 37. I am 96% British. <laughs> Well, actually, Ireland's not in Britain, but I am 98% from like the British Isles. <laughs> 96%. Did I say 98? I meant 96. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I thought there would be a bit more outside of the UK and Ireland. This is not. So wait, let's have a look. England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. Fifty-nine percent. Your connection to this region is most likely through ancestors linked to communities in Yorkshire and East Midlands, and the Midlands, which is really interesting because I know about family from these areas, like ancestors from these areas, so that's really interesting. Ireland and Scotland, 37%. Oh, it just says Ireland and Scotland. So I don't know whereabouts, but I do know that I have some people from Scotland, so... Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't expect to freak out like this. This is so cool. Germanic Europe, I'm 4% Germanic Europe. Your ethnicity estimate is 4% but it can range from 0 to 19%. Primarily located in Germany. I don't know, I don't, I don't know anything about any ancestors from Germany so that's really interesting. Okay, other regions tested. <laughs> okay, right. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at Africa. These are all the regions that they test and I think this means it's zero percent. Zero percent. Any of these. 
No connection, no connection, no connection, no connection. <laughs> no connection to African Americans. Which, actually, I didn't know if there might be a connection to African Americans, but I, 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 I would have been surprised if there was, but. Oh my god, oh, they, they do all of this stuff and I was none of them. Hey, wait, I can have a look at the regions within. So, possible connections to the Midlands, no connection to Wales. I know of some ancestors, oh my god, I can't speak. <clears throat> I know of some ancestors who are from Wales, so. Um. Possible connection to Yorkshire and East Midlands, which, yeah. What I am surprised about is that it doesn't have anything about France. I thought that I would have some French connection, but apparently not. Although there is a bit on the top of France with like England, Wales, and Northwestern Europe. So maybe. Okay, I'm gonna get my mum in here and I'm gonna get her to react to this as well. Okay, so I was a bit surprised. Really? Yeah. I'm expecting to be totally unsurprised. No, I was a bit surprised about well actually I'll show I'll show you I'll show you I'll show you what it is and then I'll tell you what I was a bit surprised about. Okay. Right, so what are we looking at? So this is the, the so this is the, the the three different sections. Yeah. Um, are the different sections where all the DNA, everything, all the DNA story, back, sort of backstory that they came up with was from. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got a Celtic se section. We've got a, a kind of uh, England and Wales section, um, and Germany, Belgium, Austria, Switzerland, that kind of section. So. Okay. Fifty nine percent England Wales. Yeah, I was surprised that it was that I would much. Think it, oh, I would have thought it would be more. You see, it depends how no. far back they go in, right? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, Ireland and Scotland. You see, that's more. Thirty-seven percent. That sort of Celtic stuff. It's more than I would have expected. In actual fact, oh. I thought there was going to be more Europe because there's only Germanic Europe. Yeah, there is. I thought there. there was going to be some France. Yeah, I would have expected some France in there um, and some other bits of Europe. You're right, and that's only 4% Germanic yeah. Europe. So it's 96% like British Isles. We were expecting it to be quite boring. Yeah, but I was, but I was, I, I thought have, there I would be more yeah. mainland Europe. In I there. would have expected more Europe, maybe more Scandinavia in there. Um, yeah. These are the regions, the connections. Uh, your connection to this region is most likely through ancestors linked to Yorkshire and East Midlands or Midlands. Well, we know that there's loads of Yorkshire. Yeah, and in Midlands. The, in the, um, but what it, this, the God. thing is that, why does it say it? <laughs> <laughs> the coloured ones are the only ones. Uh, it's nothing, is it? Um, let's have a look. Why does it say it? You are just so solidly UK. It says. There's no connection to Wales. No connection to but Wales. There has been some connection to Wales recent, in recent. Mm, maybe not in a genetic way. Yeah. But and there's also been some connection to Devon and Cornwall, and mm. there's no connection to that either. And London as well. Mm -hmm. So well, that's we, quite interesting. Yeah, we know we have connections, DNA. but it, it depends on what era of DNA they're looking at before it all got muddled up. It's, all, it's interesting how all the DNA stuff is from like the Midlands and Yorkshire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, historically and not that, from, those sorts of areas. Not from um, any of the other places. That is quite odd. Because, you know, we know that you've got some quite big chunks of, of, uh, of ancestors who are from other areas, don't we? Yeah. Solidly British, I'm afraid, Natalie. <laughs> Solidly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you are below if you have done this or what you think you are. And like and subscribe. Never stop dreaming and I'll see you next time. Bye.